All right, time to get on out of here. We're going to thank our guests and everybody. We will do that in a minute, but we have a little housekeeping to uh, to take care of. Yeah. Uh, some of you may have read this already, uh, seen it on social media or on uh, on the newspaper, whatever it is, on, on wherever you may have read it online. Um, and it's true. If you've read it, we've made – it's been a really, really extremely difficult day in a lot of different ways here at KMBO. I've only been here seven years, and there's been a couple of these, and they've been – they're all terrible. It's It's an awful, awful thing. Uh, when you have to part ways with people that have been a part of the station for a really, really long time. And, Tom, you've been here the longest. I mean, you know everybody. And uh, a lot of these people are, are friends of ours. Everybody here is is tight and is, is close. What you hear is legit. It's not like a fabricated culture here. So uh, I, I think as a former listener myself, I think it's it's disrespectful to listeners to not tell you at least what we can tell you about what's going on here at KNBR and some of the changes at least presently as they stand right now on, on Wednesday evening. So – um, we've had to, to make some changes here, and, and you'll get more details as stuff comes out and, and becomes available, but we, we have some transitioning stuff that has to happen. Um, Pauly Mac will not be on tomorrow morning. Uh, we're, I mean, I'm, I'm heartbroken by this. Pauly Mac is, uh, is one of my favorite people, one of my mentors, one of a, a guy I got to work with for years. I remember hearing his first show with, with Murph, and uh, it was, it's, it's, He's a legend here in the Bay Area and a legend at KMBR, and I don't think a lot of this place is, is what it is without a guy like that. Um, one of the other changes is, is we'll have a change in our, in our evening uh, show, the, the KMBR Tonight with F.P. Santangelo. Um, he will no longer be with us in the evening time, and uh, we another guy, I mean, I, I talked to him today, I was like, dude, you, I remember when you led the league and hit by pitches, man. I was like, <laughs> I was like you're, you're, this is incredible. Guy got a World Series ring calling Nationals games, and uh, it was it was really 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 cool and special to get to work with a guy who spent time playing in the bigs like that and to pick his brain and to ask questions to guys that I always wanted to talk, uh, ask questions about playing with or playing against and so um, there will be more details to come and and what the changes officially are and and what some of the moves are forward but uh, I love a lot of these people and and there are some digital people who are are no longer here and I I don't want to you know it's, it, that's that's not our department I don't feel that we should. Be, be stating things that we don't know much about. But in terms of what's happening on air here, it's a, it's been a really difficult day. And I love this building. I love this this station. I love working with you, Tom. And, yep. uh, and I've listened to it for years. I love a lot of these people. I love the, the guys we we uh, uh, let go of today. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the future, but I think we really need to, to, to tip our cap and applaud the work that those guys have done, the love that they have shown us, the company they have given us the companionship and the passion that they have shown because none of what has happened has been for, for the people that they are. Um, it's, it's a time of transition and, and change is hard, man. Change is just always so hard. And, uh, we'll, we'll all, we'll all get through it. It's what, it's what it's about. It's about moving on, but we, uh, dad, look, it's I a tough just, day, man. It's I don't awful. Keep rambling. No, yeah. no, it's, it's, it's awful. Uh, I've been through a few of these and it, it never gets any, any easier because a lot of good people don't have their, their jobs and it's, the business it's the way radio is going it, it just it is what it is and you do the best job you can and move on but it doesn't mean that it doesn't affect a lot of people and their families it's why you're never going to hear me advocate for a coach being being fired uh it just i'm not gonna I, I i won't do it i may suggest i may have like i may imply but i just or think it's going yeah, to yeah, because i think it's going to uh i may say how does someone keep their job but i just it, they have families they have families and they gotta and, and look i know uh, i won't get too deep into that but it affects a lot of people when people lose their jobs so i'm sad that they have lost their jobs uh lee hammer also won't be continuing on here and i'm sad for that because lee's been a part of kmbr since I can remember when I first started, I'm not sure if he was here when I first started, but he was uh, Bob Agnew's assistant program director and then took over for Bob and became the program director here for a long, long time. And he's been doing great work here the last number of years as kind of a consigliere between KNBR and the Niners and KNBR and the Giants. And he's just someone that's always fun to have in the building, uh, always uh, can listen to you if you have a problem. So it's just... Uh, it, it's business. It happens, yeah. and I know people in other lines of business have had to deal with this. It doesn't make it any easier for the people that have to deal with this and the people that have to go through it. So for the people that I've worked with, the people that I know, the people that were uh, let go today, it's not because 
of your performance. It's just the way this business is going. And uh, tip of the cap and a salute to all of you. Yeah. Uh, much love to everybody who's, uh, who's always riding with us on KMBR. And we will uh, we will be back tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. Uh, we will have some fill-ins in the morning show. Oh, we think we then, will. Uh, well, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. That's the plan. We'll be back tomorrow with two. But, uh, again, tough day, but we uh, we will charge forward. we got Warrior Basketball tomorrow night and uh, and more to come on KNBR. Tom, I guess you, you should take it from here, I guess. That's where you say goodbye to our stuff. Well, let me, say, let me, th- let me thank our guests real yeah, quick. Mark yeah. Spears. At, let me thank Mark. I feel, I feel like I, th- I should thank half of his name because yeah. he gave us half of his voice. Now, you know what? Mark laid it on the line for us today. He, uh, let me thank him this way. Thank you to Mark Spears. <laughs> That's what he like. Thank you to Adam Kaplan, and thank you very much, Steve Kerr, who put up with my two-minute and 45-second diatribe. Sorry, Steve. Really, really appreciate you uh, pointing that out. Thank you very much to Derek. Thank you to Tim. Hell of a job today, guys. Well done. And uh, we will. We'll be back with you uh, tomorrow. Salute to all those that, uh, that lost their jobs today. Good yeah. good, good people. Good yeah. people. Take it away, Derek. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! Shut it down. Bay Point, shout out to you for supporting KNBR. Bay Point Sports Leader. Are going to have a new head coach, and they're going to bounce back and be back in the playoff mix. Jaguars right there. You have the Texans on the rise.